Are you looking for the best spy glasses? I did a video in the past about some other spy glasses that I actually returned because I did not like the quality of it. The audio and the video did not sync up with each other and there was just so many issues with it. So ever since that video, in my analytics on Amazon, I can see some of the other things that you guys have purchased. And this was one right here. It's this company called Oho. And they make the same type of glasses with the camera right there in the bridge. And I was like, this looks like it might be a little bit more legit than the other one that I got. So I figured I'd do a little unboxing of it with you guys. And then I'll come back and do a few more tests on it and whatnot. So let's go ahead and check this thing on out right here. So this is a box that it comes in. It comes in this nice little carrying case right here. It does have the clip right there. So if you do want to clip it onto something, which is nice. Go ahead and open this on up. Good zipper right there too. That opens very fluidly. And okay, okay. So we got a couple cords right here on top. We'll check out those. We got some instructions right there. Ooh, got a nice little like carrying bag for it, drawstring bag for it, which can also, I believe, double, it's super soft, double as a, um, a lens cleaner, which is nice. Okay, so this is what they look like right here. First thing that I'm noticing is that, I think I said this on the previous video too, is that the bands are a little chunky right here because you have to put all the components in there and whatnot. So just be prepared for this to be a little thick. And then of course it's thick up here too because you have to be able to put your cards and your buttons and all the other electronics in there as well. This right here is where your camera is sitting. You can definitely see that little hole right there. So I'd be curious to know, like if I were to walk around with these things on to see if people would actually recognize that the camera is right there in the middle. Let's see, let me look at, okay, so as far as looks like charging it right here, you have a simple port right there that you're gonna plug into and then uh, you can get a good charge on there. Looks like you take a picture with this button right here and then this is to pause and record some video if you wanna take video. I'm assuming this, does this open up? You got underneath here, what's this? Does it pull out? Ah, yeah, okay, oh, cool. It comes with a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card and it just simply pulls in and out right there. So this was another issue that I had with the other pair of camera glasses that I had is that the memory card was lodged right here on the side where the hinge is. And you could not get that thing out unless you had like super long nails or some tweezers to be able to get it out. So I love the placement of this one right here because I can easily grab this thing and pull it out because it's got a little bit of a lip sticking up. The only way that they could make this better is if it had kind of one of those spring-loaded things where you push down on it and it kind of pops out. That'd be the only improvement that I could see right there. I'm gonna uh, guess that the other side right here might be the battery or some other kind of components. It's definitely thick. And then we have a, a, a grip right here. This is really interesting. It's rubber both inside and outside. So that's, I think, gonna help to, it to stay on the uh, head a little bit easier. This is kind of what they look like up close. See, there's a little grip right there, a little grip right here. I guess it could make taking it off a little bit easier, or if you have them hold like this, you can kind of feel that grip right there in uh, the inside. Super cool. This is looking awesome. As far as construction, um, of course, you're going to have some wires that go from here to the camera and then probably back to over here for the other components. But it seems to be pretty seamless all the way through on the inside right there. I really don't see anything like sticking up or any weird glue or anything like that. Uh, as far as the cables that come with it, it looks like you get two cables which is pretty cool. So you can have uh, an extra one in case something happens. Sorry, I forgot to zoom back out on you guys. And uh, it plugs into this little port right there. So let me see, let's go ahead and first of all, let's see how long these uh, guys are right here. Oh, uh, these are, hold on. I thought, uh, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong. I thought that there were lenses, additional lenses that you could get, this is about a, foot and a half, maybe two foot cord right there. Um, I thought to make them uh, 
sunglasses as opposed to uh, regular glasses. I actually like the regular glasses because I still have my idea of going and trying to get some lifetime warranty exchanges done with you guys using these glasses. That's why I'm kind of curious to know if people are going to be able to see the camera thing right there in the middle. Yeah, this is about the same size cord right there. So you get two of the same cord and then these uh, pop on. What is that? Okay, hold on. First, let me see if these pop on into here correctly. One thing I do wish is that this was USB-C just because it'll work better if I need to charge it from my MacBook Pro. Otherwise, I gotta use a brick for it or I have to get an adapter for it. So that's one thing that I can say about the cord. Um, okay, no, that fits in there just good, just like that. So that's how you charge it. But I, w I wanted to point out that there's also this other little hole right there. I don't know if y'all can see that very well. Let me zoom in on it a little bit. Maybe y'all can see that right here's the port and then right there there's like that little hole. I don't know what that is. I'm, usually that's for some kind of like reset uh, but I, I'm not too sure exactly what that is. Now, as far as construction of the hinges, this is kind of a big thing because sometimes with glasses, you might want something a little bit more durable. And this, from what I can tell right here, it just has all plastic right through here. I don't see any metal. Now, there might be some metal underneath the hinge right there. I'm just not 100% sure of that. And then I also noticed that this is open right here. So I don't know if it's uh, just a special kind of brace or something like that since it is made out of plastic or if they're trying to save some material or if it's some kind of like cooling thing in case uh you know something gets too hot in there it's got a little bit of airflow if you will uh these do look like they're polarized too which is nice for uv lights but i think that they look cool i'm gonna have to give them a test and kind of see how they do i want to do an audio video test on them i really want to see if the audio and video is going to be sunk up so if you guys want to see that video i'm gonna put that right there on the screen you guys go and click that video i'm gonna see y'all in that video thank y'all for watching and dad out